double elimination at the end of this challenge. Two people go home. Get it! Yeah. Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Finally! Two friends also, so one hand at backwards. Have fun, mate. Oh no! Oh! Oh man! Uh, so is JD your most competitor? Is that why you want to get him out so fast? Uh, yeah. The top player out of all of you guys is JD. Yep, yep, yep. I know you hate him, but you gotta clap for the guys. Now, unfortunately, we gotta send two of you home. We've just noticed that in the past, you were doing so well in these past three challenges. We haven't really seen anything exceed other than your teamwork, which is fine, but it's also about holding two, and you just weren't really impressed. The first one to go home is Ragnar. Wow. Sorry, buddy, you gotta pack your balls and go home. How did you feel about the judgment and did you agree with it? And you can be honest. I do not agree with it in the slightest. Second person to go home from roll off is Gene. Oh no. I was just playing my greatest, you know. And it happens. You know, in your lower part of your body, you don't want to move with your upper part. Yeah, that's Again. tough. <laughs> Glad to see you came back to the rest of Roll Off. So what we're going to do today for your first challenge is for 10 frames, you guys are going to be one big team. You're all working against each other, but you're bowling as a team. You each are going to pick two frames that you'll get, and those are the only two frames you'll get for the game. <laughs> it's not going to be fun because like it's the normal on Roll Off, we just can't let you get away with anything. So on top of working against each other, you're going to be bowling with oven mitts on and with the bumpers up. <laughs> you have to hit the bumper at least once or the frame don't count. And you only get two. So that's 50% of your fun gone by screwing up. All right, so you guys got your challenges. You guys understand? You guys ready to roll off? Roll off! Right, roll off! Roll off! So Skylar, you're going through your fourth challenge right now. How do you think you're doing? I think I'm doing good. This challenge with the oven mitts is pretty hard. It's hard to get it with the bumper because it's really got to spin. You got to do it hard. All right, you got this, Cindy. Oh yeah. 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 You, you seem confident. No? <laughs> which is your favorite which is your favorite glove? That one or the burnt one? Uh, I like the burnt one. The burnt one? Yeah. Yeah, it has the most character, doesn't it? Yeah, they smell. They, they smell like cookies. Yes, they do. And bad roast.
did good. Every single time. Oh, yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> How do you think your teammates are working out? I think they're working out okay. We just need to um, see them pushing it more and harder so then they'll actually curve to the first pin. Oh, yeah, so you think a little more consistency will go a long way? Well, you're going through your fourth challenge. How's it going right now? Uh, I'm surprised. Really? <laughs> surprised in a good way or bad way? Surprised in a good way. Why is that? Um, I didn't expect to make it this far. And yeah. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> good. And you're actually doing very well right now. I'm thinking. I'm doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think your uh, teammates are doing? I think we're all learning from each other and kind of talking it out. And I do think they're doing good. Excellent. I gotta, ask, I gotta ask you the same question. Which one of these mitts is your favorite? The blue one the blue or the one. burnt one? The blue one. The blue one? Yeah. Why the blue one? It's thinner. It's thinner? Yeah, I think it'll be easier. I think it's the one I knew with the ones I made. <laughs> Cindy and I agreed we like the burnt one because it smells like cookies and bad roast. Oh, yes it does. Right? Okay. You're bye. welcome. You are welcome. The bumper? It, I can't tell. You can't tell? No, I, I, I think you got it. I think you got it. I think so. through your fourth challenge and you're in the top five so how do you think you're doing right now in your challenge um, I'm doing all right I didn't do the worst out of everybody out there so how do you think your placement is compared to how everybody else is doing right now um, I, think, I think I'm either like middle or like second to last one of the two okay but uh, I feel like I did pretty decent uh, I can't quite remember I think someone didn't hit the bumper so I think that yeah. puts me like dead middle. You know, they said you had to wear oven mitts. They never said that you had to bowl with both hands. Drew? I'm gonna use the spinning ball. How did that throw make you feel? <laughs> you know like? Uh, I gotta pop my ears. Got it. Wow. Good job, dude. Yeah. Let's see. Apparently that's what you're working for. I'm on this side now. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, let's see what you did there. <laughs> I got one pit higher. 
Now that you kind of know your competitors, who do you think will make it to the finale right now? Based on what's going on right now in the competition. I would have to say Cindy and my mom. Really? Why is that? Because they're doing really good, they're always competitive, and they work really good together. Who do you think uh, will be eliminated tonight? Honestly, I think it's a toss up between me, Cindy, and Paula. Like, to be honest. Yeah. If I go home, I go home, I grab my best. That's what matters to me. I'm stoked that I discovered the thing with the thinner glove. How do you guys feel after that challenge? Good. Not good. All right, well, the challenge is over. Y'all did really well, for the most part, except the parts where you sucked. Yeah. All right, so the way we're gonna do this thing is we're actually gonna pick a top two, and we're gonna pick a bottom two, which is kind of interesting, seeing as you guys are supposed to work together, yet not be a team. But I wouldn't get your hopes down just yet, because it's gonna be fun. So, for the first top two, First one is Skyler. This is the second time I've seen your little face on my top two squad. I don't know, to be mad at you or your dad. <laughs> mad at your dad. Definitely mad at your dad. You're fine. Anyway, man, you've been up here a lot, and it's and you're constant, and I, I like that. And you're also the only one to always hit the bumpers. He was always giving suggestions, constantly, every single time. He, uh, every almost every single one. So the second one to join Mr. Skyler is going to be JD. Yeah, good job, JD. Nice to see you in the top, because last season we saw you in the bottom a lot. So I'm glad that you're finally back in the top. And uh, you also were the only one to always hit pins, and you also got a spare. So which was your favorite mitt, by the way? The bad roast cookie smell one or the Winnie the Pooh one? The Winnie the Pooh one. The Pooh one. I, I'm got, I gotta say Winnie the Pooh all the way. When I first gotta got go back to town. <laughs> that's, that's not good. What'd you do to the gloves? I do what I want. All right, so for the bottom two, this wasn't so easy as picking the top two. So, the first to go on the bottom is Paula. There was a throw you made that you didn't hit the, the thing, and I think even one throw you maybe got like one pin down, so there wasn't a lot of consistency. So, based on the not hitting the bumper, we gotta bring you down to the bottom. Okay, so the second one in the bottom is... Becca. Oh, yes. You've got to learn, he does that. <laughs> there was a throw that just missed the bumpers, and that, that, was, that was a big thing. Uh, you did hit pins for the most part, but the bumper thing. Yeah. Same question, which was your favorite mitt? Uh, the Winnie the Pooh one. It was thinner. You could actually kind of grip the holes a little bit. Was it wet when you got it? It was not. Yeah, yeah I still blame JD for the wet thing. I think that, that's... <laughs> So anyway, this comes the hard part, is we gotta send one of you guys home. And unfortunately, that person is... Becca. She has come in on the top it, once, you've been in the bottom twice. But I wouldn't get your hopes down yet, because I have a feeling there's a little something in store for you, courtesy of the owner of Roloff, Mr. Galen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, yeah, see the charm being <laughs> turned up right there? She's like, <laughs> I know where you live, I'll kill you. <laughs> so the twist is you guys have to bowl 10 miles an hour or under. Your enemy team is going to be your enemies. Yeah. You might be the one getting back in. No, because knowing me, I'll just rate that first one and suck them in. Yeah, but no one beats that. Yeah, fair enough. Well, the other team could still destroy us. Yes, they do have two girls and a kid, so they might be able to keep it slow. I've got a lot of bads. Yeah, I hate to say it. This, this challenge actually kind of disappointed quite a few people. I was actually 
stuffing tater tots from my mouth, praying to God it would choke me. I didn't have to see that anymore. <laughs>